All right, now time to answer some of your common health questions. Joining me is News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria. He is the chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. Thanks so much for coming in today. I know it's been a busy day. Uh, listen, a lot of things can cause headaches, but exercise? Yeah, a lot of people don't really? realize that. It is actually a very common contributor to uh, headaches. 45 million people get them throughout the year. 70% mm. of people with headaches have reported getting headaches from exercise. Now, we don't really know the mechanism, but we do think that it's dilatation or, or expanding of the blood uh, vessels in the brain, which causes pooling of blood and that throbbing effect. Now, people that are more at risk are people with migraines who are in hot weather, who are in high altitudes, or if you're dehydrated. So you got to make sure you drink plenty of water, especially in this weather. Now. Common sense would tell you, well, if I get these headaches when I'm exercising, I should stop exercising. But you know what? <laughs> That's where you I was do. going, actually. Exactly. But you know what? You do not. Matter of fact, several studies have shown that as you continue to exercise, your yeah. body acclimates to that. Okay. And the headaches then become less frequent, less severe, and overall just easier to tolerate, less medications warranted. Exercise away. Just got to get over that. So hump, you're not giving us a prescription not to exercise. Exactly. But always check with your doctor, please. All right. Let's talk restless leg sure. syndrome. What's the best treatment for that? Well, restless leg is actually a lot more common than people realize. 15% of the population get it. So there's several things that you can try down the line because there is no unfortunate cure for it. So to start off, start with easy things that are that you can get at home. Cold packs, warm packs. It eases the muscles, kind of soothes the nerves, the peripheral nerves, and maybe can help. Massages to the lower legs very much has been shown to be helpful for mild type disease. Then when you start getting into the more severe type, which keeps you up at night, you want to try some of the over-counter medications like okay. Tylenol or ibuprofen. And then if all else fails, you got to go see your doctor because there are prescription strength meds that can help. Pain meds, muscle relaxants. And there's also certain medications that have been shown to help that have previously been used for epilepsy, mm, okay. for Parkinson's, and that have been shown to be helpful. So always consult with your doctor and he or she will give you the best recommendation if you just can't get those legs to stay still. Oh yeah. Okay. So if you have a question for Dr. Saria, keep them coming. You can go to our website, WPTV.com, click on the health link, scroll down on the right hand side. You'll see a form to write your question. Dr. Saria, thanks so much for coming in. You're welcome. We appreciate it. You bet.